welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. In this quick coffee tip, we're looking at a ceiling feature I came across last week. I thought this would be a great little tutorial. So that's the image I got here. I like to replicate in Archicad now. So let's move over here. I just drew a circle, two meter in um, two meter diameter or one meter radius, and I added my first little um, sort of blade circle here. Let's go back. So what I want to do is obviously want to draw this one here, and then we move it into shape. Okay. So I've got this first one here. It's just again, it's a, it's just a piece of arc. I made this one here 250 in the middle. And the first thing is I like to duplicate this. So we copy one of those, just very simple. Copy that into the middle here. And now I like you to rotate this slightly. Okay, so we get the blade, as you can see, get a blade over here. And in the middle, it can be a bit smaller to connect, that's fine. And then maybe you can just go to there. Okay, so we got that pretty much set in that blade now. The next bit is we draw now a morph, go to the morph and very simply trace along here. Okay, great, select this and we adjust the arc just nicely there. Now, you can see if you move in, we need a lot more segments in here. That's just the default setting. So keep this selected and we go to modify morph and we do modify segmentation and all you do is here really you just double the segments so do this and you see it looks a lot better already i think we can do one more so just repeat this exactly the same and modify segmentation double segments and i think it looks pretty good now so in 3d let's have a quick look we got obviously this piece now I like to now take this piece and we just put the thickness in. And let's make it 20. Great, so we've got this piece now, but it's flat. And if you go back here, if I would rotate this around, it's not gonna work because you can clearly see that this edge, which you can't see at the moment, is higher up than this edge. So what I'd like you to do is go back to our 3D and now we move that edge up, okay? To do this, you have to um, deselect and change your arrow tool from the normal one to this one here. Because now I can select just a segment, if you click there, and if I move this up or down, only this segment will move. So let's do this now. So I drag this and let's drag it up, maybe to that corner. It's a bit of a... Um, um, trial and error to make sure this will fit in a moment. So you can clearly see this is going up. Okay, so that was just the thickness I moved up by 20 on this corner. So let me have a quick try. So if I do now and we rotate this, let's rotate this. We make sure we rotate to path, increment and spread. So what I need to do is now, I need to rotate this maybe to there. Let's rotate a couple. Okay, that will do. Now you gotta check first what is the ceiling doing, the ceiling feature. And you can see it's not high enough. You have to move this one segment higher. So 20 is not enough. If you go back here, you gotta make sure you get a gap so it lets the light through. Okay, so let me undo this step and we go into 3d so at the moment this is 20 let's do another 20 see that's sometimes you have to work like this to get um, the model you after so let me drag this up again let's move it at another 20. okay there we go and we go back again and just do the same thing and we click ok and we go up there and just do a couple for now all right, let's have a look in 3D again. Yeah, it's getting there. It's almost there. 
okay so what you can do is you could have a quick look you could lower this side a bit too okay so that's fine of course if you have a look even if you lower this side a little bit it will be hidden in this circle so there's two options you got so let me go back here and let's try to lower this one now and we just drag this down there okay let's try again it's very simple actually you know it doesn't take long at all to get this right just a couple of times and then you get that feature right okay see that's the way you sometimes work look at this it's getting much better i get definitely the gaps in between can you see this so i think we need a tiny bit more so let me do this great so i think i'm happy with that now to do this you saw what i used here i used the increment and spread rotation to path now if i do this from there to there just you know roughly want to have an overlap let's overlap there and then you go all the way but it will never fit exactly gotta be really lucky you, you can clearly see that doesn't fit exactly okay so what you want to do is you you now count how many because it's still selected you just go and open this edit selection set so you know exactly how many you got selected so it's 22 so you cancel this you undo this step and we do it again but we do a distribute and we distribute 22 minus one okay um yes minus one is good so you go there you go there and you go slowly around here and because it's minus one you can go all the way there okay so let's have a quick look yeah see that looks pretty good and you can see if you got light the light will definitely go through okay so that's that's quite nice actually that looks pretty cool it's almost like a fan ceiling fan so that's nice let's go back and i want to make sure yeah i have selected all of them so let's group them so that's grouped now next step is we gotta move them into a ceiling and obviously cut out the ceiling and close the ceiling off so let me now move it's quite simple i gotta change the arrow tool so let me take this one actually you know what let's add a slab here and let's see if i can go the arc space click let's have a look how that looks it should be okay oh it's a bit high up see there you go i didn't really look where the um <laughs> didn't really look at the settings but that's cool all right i will use the section in the moment because yeah oh that was pretty lucky look at this that looks almost perfect yeah I prefer it a little bit down so just just move it slightly bit more down okay yeah looks great all right so let me select this slab because i really want to that's the slab and i want to select this and let's group again so only the 3d is grouped not the circle but i want to take that circle okay because now drag and copy over here move it roughly there and let's see how this looks for now so you obviously can't see it because it's oh it's down there great now what you do is we go and draw a section maybe simple one i don't even look at the settings because i'm just really showing you this and um, how to model this feature so just a rough section looking this way and let's open this section and we can see we got this down here right so i'm taking this it's still selected as uh, not suspended it's grouped and let's move it up and we drag this up and maybe like this okay that will do for now great now if i go to my um, roof let's have a quick look what i've got here 
See, it's almost there. So if I go outside, there we go. Okay, so you see the roof is not finished, like it's healing at the moment, that's fine. But I wanna cut this out. So all you do is now, you go to the next floor, which right the roof, and that's some leftover, and you show the ground floor as tra trace reference. So you select the slab, slab tool selected over here, and you just space click. So now we got a hole in there, see, very simple. Excellent, so let's go back to our section. There we go. This is actually quite good. So another quick step is I'm still on the roof. You just, on a PC you put Alt and you um, take the attribute of the slab and we put another slab in, but obviously the height, let's just do it on, on that, okay? And base click, there we go. In 3D, it's all closed, closed off again section there we go we got this piece in if i go down to my 3d let's select this one there we go oops i'm a bit outside here look at this one that was pretty fast doing it just like that and now obviously you can play around a bit you know if, if you think you circle you have too much distance here you change it a bit and it's quite easy to copy them along and i show you what i did Okay, that's the file I did my trial. Let's select this one and you can see what I did is I added some lights like we had in the reference image. There you go. Very nice. I added some lights, down lights, and you can see at the moment I've got three of them. And it looks actually quite nice. So it's up to you how you how big you want to obviously do the circles and the ceiling feature. But I thought as a quick little example. This is quite a good tip. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip as always, and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.